at Trader Joe's in Santa Monica. I'm gonna take you along on my grocery haul. This is what I'm gonna buy here. Right in the door, we're gonna just make a left turn away from the vegetables and go over here to get some fruit. I got some organic Fuji apples that are gonna be pretty good. I might eat these or maybe even juice them. Medjool dates, these are good. Organic bananas, gonna need some time for these puppies to ripen, but we got other fruit in the meantime. Organic avocados, get a little jug all in. <laughs> It's all right. These are not ripe. You're allowed to juggle the unripe avocados. They're not round. It's really hard to juggle them. Organic navel oranges. These will most likely get juiced. They got some squash here that I'm going to get. They got some organic zucchini squash. Squash is a fruit, so I think it's actually pretty good. It, you think of it as a vegetable, but vegetables are really leaves and stems and roots and seeds. Zucchini are fruit. Saute these guys up, put them on a steak, be pretty good. We're gonna skip the bread aisle. You guys know I don't eat bread. I don't eat grains, grains are seeds. Lots of problematic things in there for humans, digestive enzyme inhibitors, phytic acid, which prevents the absorption of minerals in the gut, gluten, which is a lectin, major problem for most humans, so I'm gonna skip all the bread, and I skipped all the vegetables. You guys probably know about that. More defense chemicals. Not really any unique nutrients that I can't get in fruit for plant foods. And really my goal when I'm thinking about food is the most nutrients with the least amount of toxins. We haven't gotten to the animal foods yet, the meat, the cheese, the eggs, and the dairy. That's where the real nutrients are. There definitely are nutrients in fruit and there's nutrients in vegetables, but I don't think there's any unique nutrients in vegetables that I can't get in organs, meat, fruit, honey, and raw dairy on an animal-based diet. And by eliminating the vegetables, I'm getting rid of and avoiding the defense chemicals, things like oxalates, which can accumulate in the joints, phytic acid, like in the bread, which can prevent the absorption of minerals, all kinds of things. So we skip the vegetables. Potatoes are delicious, but it's a root and they actually have a pretty good amount of oxalates in them. So I avoid the potatoes and I get my carbohydrates from things like the fruit or honey. Even sweet potatoes are decently high in oxalates. So if you want to eat white potatoes or sweet potatoes, cook the crap out of them. If you have joint issues, if you have autoimmune issues, if you have sleep issues, it's worthwhile considering a low oxalate diet. What are the highest oxalate foods in most grocery stores? Things like turmeric powder, spinach, chard, and almonds are the big ones, or beet greens, but a lot of people will eat significant amounts of potatoes, both sweet potatoes and white potatoes, and if you have issues getting rid of those and decreasing the oxalates in your diet, it's probably not a bad idea. Spaghetti squash here, this is a fruit. This is a much better substitute in your diet than something like wheat pasta. So I'll get some spaghetti squash, cook it up with some raw butter, it could be good. I'm gonna skip the chicken because I'd prefer to get red meat, but if you do eat chicken, opt for something like the organic free range chicken. 95% of what I eat is red meat, grass fed red meat. I'm not a huge fan of fish because of the contaminants in the oceans, but if you're going to eat fish, do not eat farm-raised salmon. Even though this salmon looks fancy, you can see on the label very clearly that it is Norwegian farm-raised. Know that all Atlantic salmon is farm-raised. And as you can see on the label, color is added. You don't want salmon like that. If I were going to eat salmon, I would eat something like a wild salmon. Much better color. Trader Joe's actually has some decent options for meat. They've got a 8515 organic ground beef, and they've got grass-fed ribeyes. So I'll get a couple of these. I'm gonna skip the strawberries. I'm just not really feeling strawberries these days, but if you do get strawberries, make sure you get organic strawberries. Tons of pesticides on strawberries. They're usually the top of the dirty dozen from the Environmental Working Group, suggesting that they have perhaps the highest amounts of pesticides, even berries of any kind. I would not eat non-organic raspberries, blackberries, or blueberries because berries have tons of pesticides. While I'm here, I'll get some blueberries. This is the most incredibly humorous section of the Trader Joe's store. You've got beefless ground beef. I, uh, I parked my Porscheless Porsche outside of Trader Joe's. We'll show you guys that at the end of the video. It's actually a 
Toyota Camry, I'm joking. But uh, you get the idea. I don't know how you can call something beefless ground beef. Uh, and on the label, as you can see, it's full of things like seed oils and gums. There's canola oil there and guar gum. So gums like guar gum, xanthan gum, carrageenan, I think these are some of the least appreciated problematic foods for humans. Carrageenan and other gums create issues in the human gut. So definitely avoid these kind of things. Beefless ground beef next to the Impossible Burger, which claims that it's beef made from plants. Mm, the only thing that makes beef from plants are cows, so that's ridiculous. There's actually studies that show that these plant-based meats, when they're given to animals, create gut inflammation, and I'm sure they create gut inflammation in humans. Turkeyless ground mush. To me, that just looks like... I don't even know. I don't even know what this looks like. Look, yeah, this yeah. looks like something I played with in uh, elementary school, some kind of sludge that I would give to kids to make uh, clay yeah. animals or something. That's horrible. A pair you've got. Eggless eggs, plant-based eggs. That's a complete oxymoron. I don't know how they get away with this stuff. The ingredients on this one are crazy. Lupin protein concentrate, what even is that? And sunflower oil, uh, the, the hits keep coming. Xanthan gum, this, is, this stuff's horrible, guys. I think that it's clear that humans crave animal products. We crave meat and eggs. This is what we like. That's why so many of these plant-based products try to imitate these things to appeal to our, our brains the parts of our brains that, no matter what we eat, always crave meat. There's actually a study that shows that, that if you look at the brains in vegans and vegetarians, and you show these people images of meat, their brains still crave the meat. I'm not a fan of the processed meats. Trader Joe's actually has raw cheese. This stuff's pretty good. This Gruyere, it's raw, and they've got raw Parmigiano-Reggiano, so I'm gonna grab some raw cheese. I'm a big fan of raw dairy. They don't have any raw milk here, unfortunately, but I'm a fan of raw dairy. There's good studies, multiple studies that show that kids who drink raw milk have lower rates of eczema, asthma, and allergies as adults, probably due to beneficial qualities of the whey protein in raw dairy that is changed. The raw dairy is denatured when you heat the milk, so that's why I prefer to drink raw milk and get raw cheese when I can. Unfortunately, Trader Joe's doesn't have any raw milk or yogurt, but they've got goat milk kefir, which is probably the best thing they've got here, so get some of that. So in terms of eggs, the, uh, the best eggs at Trader Joe's are the organic pasture-raised eggs. Not bad. Probably would eat most of those as raw yolks rather than cooking them. I don't eat the whites raw because raw egg whites contain avidin, which binds biotin, and I just find that um, I digest eggs better when I don't have the whites. People, some people react to egg whites more than the yolks, so I eat the yolks raw when I'm eating eggs. Trader Joe's has some decent butter here, um, organic butter, but there's other places where I can get raw butter. I don't have any olive oil in my diet. They actually don't sell tallow here, um, but my favorite fats are tallow, butter, and ghee. But if you want to know how to pick an olive oil, um, in short, I would look for something that is organic, extra virgin, single source, and cold press. There's only one here at Trader Joe's that fits the bill for that. Again, I don't use olive oil in my diet. I think you want the lowest amount of linoleic acid in your diet possible. Olive oil is higher in linoleic acid significantly than tallow and butter and ghee. The latter have about 2% linoleic acid. Olive oils can have 10 to 15%. Trader Joe's is all about sauces, but I just avoid all this stuff. It's it's just not my jam. It has a lot of seed oils in it, especially the dressings. Um, even this green dragon hot sauce that apparently people love at Trader Joe's. <laughs> full of seed oils. <laughs> Bro, get Some people like sardines. I hate these things, guys. I hate them. For one, they're in a tin, which is going to have BPA in the plastic. And if not BPA in the plastic, they're going to have some xenoestrogens in the plastic. And I mean, these. Sardines contain natural flavor, which I would never eat. And every time I eat sardines, I get like a burping sensation. I just hate that. I imagine all the fish in these tins are spoiled and oxidized, and I think it's gross. You guys thought I was gonna eat peanut butter. I'm not gonna eat peanut butter. I'm just gonna tell you why I don't like it. You can see here all this peanut oil on top of the peanut butter. That's a seed oil. Peanut oil is a seed oil. This has a lot of linoleic acid in it. This omega-6, 18-carbon, polyunsaturated fatty acid that I think is the major driver of illness in humans, and it's in peanuts. Peanuts are beans, beans are seeds, 
seed oil is in peanut butter. It's oxidized, not good for humans, and peanuts are hard for humans to digest anyway, so I don't do any peanut butter. And if you look at these other ones, like cocoa almond spread, which is Trader Joe's imitation Nutella, it's, it's full of seed oils. I mean, look at this um, right there, canola oil on the label. In terms of honey at Trader Joe's, I probably I'm gonna get this one. It's a local raw honey. I'm a big fan of honey and fruit and carbohydrates in general. The audience on YouTube seems to always lose their mind when I talk about eating honey, but I'll put a study here that shows that diabetics who are given honey um, actually decrease their fasting glucose and fasting insulin. So I, I believe that honey is very beneficial for humans. I'm a very active human and including carbohydrates in my diet, whether fruit or honey, definitely improved my thyroid function and improved my hormones, lowered sex hormone binding globulin, which led to higher levels of free hormones, improved my sleep and improved my electrolyte balance. No longer did I need to have tons and tons of salt to even maintain any semblance of not cramping all the time when I was keto, when I included carbohydrates. So if you're keto uh, and you're having issues with cramping, that is an electrolyte issue because you are not including carbohydrates in your diet. It's easily fixable. There's really no good evidence to suggest that whole food forms of sugar, like fruit or honey, are harmful for humans at all. I've done other videos about this on YouTube about how the research regarding fructose gets confused and conflated. The studies suggesting that fructose is harmful for humans are almost exclusively looking at animal studies, which do not translate to humans, and they're looking at processed fructose or isolated fructose, not in a whole food form. Trader Joe's actually has a pretty good organic maple syrup that I'll add to the regimen. I add that to uh, raw milk. I know the, the keto zealots in the audience are losing their mind right now, but I'll, uh, I'll twist the knife in your guy's heart. Uh, this is fine for humans. It doesn't cause insulin resistance, I promise. It's just really delicious. I don't do any alcohol, guys. Trader Joe's is famous for Charles Shaw, the two buck chuck, but there's really solid evidence that even low level consumption of alcohol, one, two drinks a day over the course of a week, long term can thin the neocortex of the brain, brain atrophy, and we know that even small amounts of alcohol are harmful for the gut, causing opening of the gap junctions in the gastrointestinal epithelium, which is colloquially known as leaky gut. So, I do not drink alcohol. I don't think you need alcohol either. You are smart enough, good looking enough, and interesting enough, uh, and can talk to girls or guys without alcohol, but I'll leave it up to you guys, but I don't drink alcohol. All right, so that's my Trader Joe's grocery haul. We don't have any organs, but I brought heart and soil supplements to Los Angeles with me, and that will fit the bill for that. This is what an animal-based diet is about. The most nutrient-rich foods with the least amount of toxins possible. That is how humans thrive. So that's how I solve the equation, which I think is the human thriving equation. How do you get the most amount of nutrients with the least amount of toxins? Don't overcomplicate it and think about what you would prefer when you were in the wild. Foods that are sweet, seasonal fruit, and hunting of animals eaten nose to tail. That's the Trader Joe's haul.